Gemini is our largest and most capable model. It means that Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do uh, and absorb any type of input and output. So not just text like most models, but also code, audio, image and video. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. Google just unveiled Gemini, its groundbreaking AI product, but it's more than just a competitor to OpenAI's GPT-4. Gemini represents a leap into a future where AI understands all human interactions. Creating Gemini was a big adventure for Google. It wasn't easy. They faced lots of challenges to make something really special. The team at Google worked hard to make Gemini super smart, kind of like how humans think and learn. All the kinds of things you want uh, an artificial intelligence system to be able to do. And these are th capabilities that haven't really existed in computers before. They made Gemini understand and respond to things in a way that's a lot like how we, as people, see the world. For example, when we look at something, we don't just see its shape and color, we think about what it is, what it does, and maybe even how it makes us feel. Okay, now I see blue and pink yarn. How about a pig with blue ears? or an octopus, or a bunny with a pink nose. Gemini does something similar with its AI brain. The Google team had to come up with new ideas and use some really advanced technology to do this. They taught Gemini to recognize not just words, but also pictures, sounds, and even videos. It's like teaching someone to not only read a book, but also understand a movie or the lyrics of a song. This was a big step forward because most AI before Gemini wasn't that good at understanding different types of information all at once. But now, with Gemini, Google has created an AI that's much closer to thinking like a human, which opens up all sorts of possibilities for how we might use it in our daily lives. Now, here's where things get really interesting. Gemini has outperformed human experts in what's known as MMLU, Massive Multitask Language Understanding. This is a big deal because MMLU is one of the most comprehensive methods to test an AI's knowledge and problem-solving skills. It covers a vast array of subjects from STEM to humanities. But the real question on everyone's mind is, how does Gemini stack up against OpenAI's GPT-4? about Gemini is that it's so good at so many things. As we started getting to the end of the training, uh, we started seeing that Gemini was better than any other model out there on these very, very important benchmarks. For example, each of the 50 different subject areas that we tested on, um, it's as good as the best expert humans in those areas. Google ran extensive benchmarks comparing the two models across a range of tasks. And guess what? Gemini topped the charts in 30 out of 32 of these benchmarks. It showed particular strengths in understanding and interacting with video and audio. I know what you're doing. You're playing rock, paper, scissors. A feat by design as Gemini was built as a multi-sensory model right from the start. Let's talk about how Gemini can be used in real life, based on the cool stuff we've seen in its demos. In one of Gemini's demos, it looks at a piece of paper and sees a squiggly line. When the line changes, Gemini notices it's now a bird and then a duck. The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. This shows how Gemini could be used in interactive learning tools for kids, where it helps them understand their drawings. Beyond that, imagine art therapy sessions where Gemini helps therapists interpret the emotions conveyed in their patients' drawings. Gemini also identifies a rubber duck, guessing it's made of plastic and might float. Would this float? I'm not sure what material it's made of, but it looks like it might be rubber or plastic. Think about how this could be used to sort materials for recycling, making the process smarter. Or in a shopping app, Gemini could help customers understand what products are made of, advising on sustainability. When asked to translate duck into Mandarin, Gemini not only translates but also teaches the pronunciation. This capability can revolutionize language learning, making it more engaging and informative. It could even help international relations, aiding diplomats and business professionals in understanding and speaking new languages. Gemini creates a game called Guess the Country, providing clues for players to identify countries. We can play a game called Guess the Country. Sure, let's do it. Clue one. This country is the home of the kangaroo, the koala, and the Great Barrier Reef. Oh, that's easy. This could be used in educational apps, making geography fun and interactive. It also opens up possibilities for innovative, AI-driven board games or mobile apps that challenge players in new, exciting ways. In another task, Gemini is presented with an object and asked to come up with creative uses for it, like using yarn to make a dragon fruit or a green cake with a pink heart. 
I see pink and green yarn. How about a dragon fruit? Or how about a green cake with a pink heart? This could transform how we approach DIY projects or crafts, offering creative suggestions based on available materials. In the fashion industry, designers could use Gemini to brainstorm new ideas or patterns. Finally, Gemini is shown a constellation drawing and recognizes it as Gemini. It is a simple line drawing of the constellation Gemini. You did a good job of capturing the beauty of Gemini. This could be useful in astronomy education, helping students and enthusiasts identify constellations and learn more about them. It could also be used in apps that blend astronomy with storytelling, creating immersive experiences that educate and entertain. Each of these demonstrations showcases Gemini's ability to interpret and interact with the world around us and opens up a realm of possibilities where AI can enhance our daily lives, education, and even our understanding of the universe. Now let's look at how Gemini is more than just a competitor to GPT-4. Its applications are both intriguing and wide-ranging. From helping scientists sift through thousands of papers to assisting coders with complex programming challenges, Gemini is set to revolutionize multiple fields. With AlphaCode 2, a new system within Gemini, it outperforms 85% of coding competition participants, showcasing its advanced reasoning and problem-solving capabilities. But Gemini's impact isn't confined to laboratories and tech companies. It's making its way into our daily lives through integration into Google's ecosystem. Gemini Pro is now the power behind BARD, and Gemini Nano is bringing new features to the Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. Soon, Gemini's influence will extend to Google Search, Ads, Chrome, and more. Understanding Gemini's power also means understanding its different versions. There's Gemini Ultra, the most capable and largest model for highly complex tasks. Gemini Pro, the best model for scaling across a wide range of tasks is a versatile model powering Google's AI services. And Gemini Nano is the efficient version for on-device tasks. As we look to the future, Gemini isn't just about surpassing GPT-4 or dominating benchmarks, it's about shaping the next chapter in AI. Google envisions Gemini playing a pivotal role in advancing toward artificial general intelligence. AI that's self-improving and smarter than humans. And with this vision comes a commitment to safety and ethical development. Gemini is being meticulously tested to ensure it's a responsible advancement in AI technology. Looking ahead, Gemini is set to do more than just be the top tech in AI. It's about changing the whole world of AI. The plan is to make a future where Gemini and people work together. It'll help us think up new ideas and solve problems in ways we never thought possible before. It's not only about making a really smart machine, it's about making something that makes our lives more creative, more interesting, and solves real problems. We're talking about a future where AI, like Gemini, helps in all sorts of things. From big stuff like tackling climate change, to everyday things like planning a garden or designing your home. Gemini is about opening a door to a world where AI is a part of our everyday lives, helping us, inspiring us, and working alongside us to make the world a better place. If you've watched this video all the way through, drop a comment below to let us know you've gained some insights from the content. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video on your screen that I've selected just for you. Thanks for watching.